Some people may think my morning routine is very abnormal, but it's very normal. The name of my syndrome is tetramelia, which is the absence of certain limbs. <laughs> Having no arms on a day-to-day, -day, it creates its challenges, of course, but I was born this way, so I've spent a lot of time finding ways to do daily activities my way. My neighbors probably be like, what's going on up there? All right. One of the first things I do when I wake up is hop out, grab my phone. I check my text messages, check my Instagram comments or TikTok because I have been posting more to be more on the influencer side of things. I started making content about my disability in 2016 on Instagram. I decided to become more active with TikTok because I could share my message to more people. It was another platform for disability awareness and advocacy. I do check any responses to a reel or photo or TikTok that I've posted. I have a friend, she sends messages every morning. <laughs> Motivational, positive stuff. Today says, you are too blessed to be stressed. Stop focusing on the negatives, only embrace the positives. Once I'm out of bed, I go to my bathroom, I take me a bath. I live with my sister, Ashley. She is my younger sister uh, who thinks she my mama and everybody else mama. I usually brush my teeth and wash my face in the tub. Every now and then, my sister will help me and assist me in doing it. No, I'm not gonna help her brush her teeth. She can do that part. <laughs> Learning to brush my teeth and wash my face was very natural. I wanted to do it. I saw my siblings do it and I learned how to do it for myself. My sister got my face bleeding now. I got it. Report her. This ain't a part of my normal morning routine. Although I wish it could be. You would do it every day. I'll put makeup on every day. If there is an event that I need to go to or just a reason that I feel I want to get cute jazzy, I book my makeup artist, Jackie. My face gonna be done, so you know what that means? I'm yeah. doing me some TikToks today. I do want to learn to do my own makeup, which is one of the things that Jackie is helping me with. I know a girl, like, she, she lives in Dallas and um, she doesn't have any arms and she does her makeup with her feet. And I'm like, okay, I can at least learn how to do a little part of it. But, I like the glam. <laughs> when I have my makeup done, it gives me the energy. Like, okay, I can make me some videos. It just gives you that boost. Still have a normal yeah. life. Yeah. I want my, my, my life to be disability awareness. Not always the subject be that. Yeah. It's a part of me, and a part of me that I wear very loud and proud. Yeah. I'm already a very confident person, so wearing makeup, this brings the inner beauty outside of me. I feel like Beyonce. <laughs> my sister is a very important part of my daily routine. Every morning she brings my breakfast. On the mornings where she can, we do sit down and eat together. Yeah, I usually make her breakfast and then I do her lunch at the same time. Most of the time we aren't able to see each other to probably at the end of the day. So usually I have to make sure that she's able to reach everything. I am home a lot due to work. I normally spend the day by myself. But yeah, she's usually here alone for about eight to nine hours. I leave yeah. the door unlocked, but that's only because if there's a fire, she can get out. All right, I'm going. Bye. Bye. Every morning I like to read something positive, a scripture, a quote. I bought this self-care workbook. A lot of things that you should incorporate in your daily routine, it kind of puts it at the forefront. This one here, it says, gratitude is a powerful catalyst for happiness. It's a spark that lights a fire of joy in your soul. You know, those things keep you in a good place. You know, when you may have that five, 10 minutes of bleh. <laughs> I definitely have moments of frustration. This is really a part of my routine. <laughs> I do have those moments like, ah, I need those fingers right now. I allow myself to have that moment. And then it's like, you don't have the fingers. So <laughs> find a way to do it and make it happen. You know how to do that. And you get through those moments. Like 
everyone else. I always tell people there is not one way to do something. So because you're doing it one way doesn't mean Chastity has to do it the same way. That's what I do every day. Find a way to make it happen. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna go ahead and get on with my day and make me some videos. Bye y'all.